All right, Shalom. This is a hard one. Ban Yashallah of the Lions Den Camp. Once they call Halayim, La Yahawa, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakodash, Ma'amath. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. Shalom to you, Akim and Agwadim and the children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four, uh, around the four corners of the earth. So, like it. Um, yeah, man, I'm just a little rattled right now, man. I've just been. Um, Debating family members all day You know what I'm saying And uh, It's just crazy because uh, This is like This is gonna be like a testimony Because um, You know you have family members that you You know you don't really walk away from them But it just naturally happens when you come into this truth And um, as you hear in the background You hear the, the text sound man Cause as they, they've been I have family siblings That are in their 40s And And, and, uh, and up damn near almost 50 texting talking shit about my son talking trash about Yahweh Shai saying F Yahweh Shai F Yahweh uh, you know it's just real disrespectful man and um it's just crazy because I'm not shocked but this is the thing you know you be you you, you kind of you know your, your fear for people saying hey the Lord gonna destroy you if you don't do this it becomes I pray the Lord destroys you. You know what I mean? Because the way people not only treat you, but how they treat, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's word. You know, and and the Lord said this was going to happen. He said that. All right. This is John fifteen and um, eighteen. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. All right. So it says what? And that you know, so people they don't hate. They don't hate you. They love the old memory of you. They say, hey, when I was getting messages today from my demonic sister and my brother, uh, my blood, you know, um, brothers was saying shit like, come join us. Won't you just be normal with us? No, you mean be wicked with you, man. You, you know what I'm saying? They, they disrespect the most high. They disrespect the knowledge of the truth. They don't even look into it. They just blaspheme, just talk shit. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Disrespecting my children, disrespecting, you know, any way they can dig the knife to make you feel what they feel because they cut to the heart and they can't cut you with the scripture like like you may cut them with one scripture. One scripture may cut them so deep, you know, cut, the scripture say it cut up to the bones and to the marrow. And what they'll do is try to cut you back, man. All right. So the best thing to do in these situations is to trust the spirit. You may say what you're going to say to them and vent. You know, then hit them with scriptures. But you pray to the most high, man. You move on. If you you know, if any brothers going out going through this, or you may go through it in the future if you're new to this truth. But you know, the scriptures cut to the heart and they want to match it. So they feeling that rebuke. And they taking it as you can you 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 just talking trash to them. No, what we're saying is scripture. Y'all being wicked by celebrating this uh, Thanksgiving Day. You know, don't send me those texts. I don't celebrate that. Please delete me from your group message. And what they'll say is, jackass, you bitch ass nigga. You know, you got a you got a mental disorder. So now now wisdom and having knowledge and understanding, they look at that as a mental disorder because they got uh, shitty ass jobs. People get these jobs, man. They get so prideful in this world, man. And the Lord going to destroy their ass. That's why, you, you know, it's like when we say, hey, America going to get destroyed. They like they get mad at you. And shit. <laughs> no, we're telling you like this is judgment. This is prophesied to happen. All kingdoms have risen and fell. fell. But these idiots think this shit going to last forever. You get what I'm saying? So I've been going back and forth all day, five in the morning, all the way till now. They've been texting, 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 boom, 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 texting, texting, talking shit, talking shit. And these people work with government. You know, they work in real estate. You get what I'm saying? It's just madness, man. <laughs> or mortgages, whatever you call it. You know, you got, but these people get these jobs, man, and, and they, they bring up their food. I got food at my table. What you got being in your coat? You see what I'm saying? I got, I, I got seven, uh, uh, this bitch says I got seven. I got six salt tallest to, to shit in. 
after Thanksgiving. It's like, man, listen. It, you know, the sister, my sister wearing blonde hair, you know what I mean? I hate to get all personal, but hey, man, this is what it is. I'm not going to get too personal, but, uh, you know, these things are, are, are curses that came on our people, man. So I have decided, you know, to trust Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which is the best choice. And, um, and uh, trust Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in this situation, man, and just move forward and teach. And that's the best way. Con to condemn these people, man. Once you tell them, you wipe the, hand the blood off your hands and you move on. You know, and um, I'm thankful because all year the Lord been showing me who is a brother, who is a friend, who is a sister to me, and who is who are my enemies. Who are my elders and who are not, you know, in age or, or, or in, uh, in the scriptures. And the Lord was showing me these things, man. And when it comes across your table, all I say is, man, allow yourself to see it, man. You play I spy. Even if you don't like it, you don't have to respond to everything, which I was responding to damn near everything. Uh, but, you know, you don't have to respond. To, you know, uh, what I'm learning through the Spirit is that I don't have to respond to everything. What I should do is just trust the Spirit. Let them have their talk. They mentioned in my son uh, that my ex took from me in the past. Uh they mentioning, you know, my daughter calling her a bitch and she's only eight years old. You get what I'm saying? Like, they just trying to say anything hurtful. And then you talk to people and they say, I ah, forgive them. They just, no, nah, you can't, you can't forgive this shit. You can forgive them spiritually, you know, because no person is, um, is without sin, right? But for them to, you know, um, dig the knife so deep. Well, hey, we got a knife too, the scriptures. We can dig them pretty deep too. All right? This is John 15 and 20. Remember the word, oh, so lucky, 19. If ye, if ye were of the world, the world would love its own. All right? And that's the thing. When you were young and you were in the world, they probably called you by your American name. It, it, you know, they'd scoff at you for changing your name to Hebrew amongst the brotherhood. Um, but but they scoff at it. They say, "Oh, only an idiot to change the name of that." Yeah, that's uh, your how it sounds like something you rub on your feet. Like, hey man, if people scoff your how about your mouth shot, that makes me more upset than when you scoff at me. You know what I mean? And, and point the finger at me talking shit. So at this point, man, the last I, you know, I have cousins and things like that. They've been more family to me than anything, and the brothers. That's it. You know, a, a few friends I have uh, Philadelphia and Florida, and, you know, around the world. But family, siblings, man, yo, I will say this. If you see an inkling that they're, that they're against the truth and against you in the midst of that, that's going to grow. That's going to grow. That part of them is going to grow. And the part of them that love you and, and, and that you thought where well, they had some sense, that's going to turn more and more dark darkness. All right? So what are we to do? What if a, if a person like I... I to do in this situation it says this but because ye are not of the world but I have chosen you out of the world therefore the world hateth you all right that's why they hate the, uh, the individual that, that believes in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that would tell people hey stop celebrating Thanksgiving and, he, and you know and, 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 and he's relentless in that you see that so they think I deserve to have my phone text all day some grown ass people you know, you know, and it's true, man. We could be some assholes, man. But um, due to um, the, the trust of uh, close friends, close brothers, you know, and this truth, uh, people, opinions I may trust, uh, you know, young or old, it don't matter. But if I trust your opinion, I trust your opinion. So, um, you know, you're not gonna stoop, I'm not going to stoop to their level, man. You know, and I don't think any brothers out there should either. You know, regardless of how you feel, what you should do is just move on, rebuke them with scripture and move on. You know, let your, let your distance tell your story. This is uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So we hear the word. We read the scriptures or we hear the words from the apostles or you hear from your brothers. 
or even through the damn uh, it's like through the audio Bible. You get what I'm saying? Just just hearing this word. Period. His mouth is the is the is his prophets. All right. Hearing hearing his word and reading his word. Then what? And give them warning from Yahweh about his judgment that's coming, man. So when we when we are the messengers, what they say? Don't kill the messenger. But that's what these demons want to do. That's what these uh, swine eating uh, Jakes want to do, man. All right, they love their damn holidays so much, you know. Or they hate each other. All they do is gossip and talk about each other, man. But then when they got somebody to gang up on, all of a sudden they come together in wickedness. They start you start hearing words like "us" against you. I had like, my family member had the nerve to say today is "us" against your God. What's, what's your guy's name so I can pray to him against you? Whatever the fuck he said. But these are like the worst choices a person can make. That's the worst you can make. Blasphemy, Yahweh. It's a, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. What are we supposed to do? Watch for the, the prophecies. Watch our people in their wickedness, man. And rebuke it. Reprove, rebuke. With all exhortation, man. All right? And we're not perfect. Sometimes you may get carnal in your words. But, you know, we're not going to be perfect in that, man. But, hey, man, I say, yo, you know, make the responses uh, spiritual. Don't play with these damn people. And uh, and don't, don't be ashamed when it's concerning thy soul, man. All right? Don't be concerned. Don't be ashamed when it's concerning thy salvation. Always speak up about it, man. I don't care who it is. I don't care who you got to lose. All right? It says what? I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, all right, who's, who's the wicked? People like my damn siblings. People like your family members that don't want to turn to your how about shimmy, how shot don't want to turn away from wicked, wickedness, man. Don't stand for anything. They only want to stand up against you. That's it. Thou, he said, what? When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die? Right, you, you'll die a, a horrible death. The Lord say, um, if you die in this truth, the Lord, Yahweh Shah promising to raise you up when he shows up, man. So where is the sting of death? All right, as you see, they're still messaging me. But this is how I have decided to fight. Not through texting and, and thumb thugging. You know, as they threatening me and telling me to come up to Philly and come to New York and is on. Hey, listen, man. I got a sick mother right now having surgery in Philadelphia. You get what I'm saying? And these bastards, damn demons. Um, anyway, put I'm going up there to see my damn mother. And, and, and that's just it. Put it like that. All right? So, um... It says, well, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. It says, what? And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Right. That's why we give warning. But in giving warning, we what get scoffed at. Right, we walk in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in affliction, in adversity. Right? Yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wicked way, wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity and her, right? Females too. But thou hast delivered thy soul. 